Hello friends, my name is Suzanne. I'm a teaching artist with Flushing Town Hall, and I believe in global arts for global kids. While we all pause together during COVID-19, I want to welcome you to my art studio. I have not given up creating, and I have a passion for teaching art. I'm very excited for another lesson today. This one introducing you to Pablo Picasso, and we're going to create an art piece out of recycled material. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Hi, thanks for joining me back in my studio. I have a whole bunch of recycled material so that we can dive into the face making recycled material out of uh, cardboard and toilet paper, paper towel holders, all in honor of Pablo Picasso. This is a photograph of the famous artist. He was a painter, a sculptor. Um, he worked with wire, he worked in pottery. There wasn't really anything this man couldn't do artistically. He also has 23 names. He's known as Picasso, sometimes Pablo, but maybe at the end, I will try to recite those 23 names. So he and a friend of his, George Barak, both of them invented a style of art called cubism. Cubism with different shapes. Cubism as in a cube, a square that's two-dimensional when you draw it, or three when, you know, three-dimensional when you have a cube, like an ice cube. And you can see some of the shapes here in this uh, painting that he did. I see a triangle, two triangles together to make the lips. He was very, very well known for this style of art. And today you're going to make your own kind of mask or face or portrait, very similar style out of cut up materials. So if you're trying to think of something that uh, Picasso might do, that's very silly. So he could have two totally different eyes. It almost looks like a half a face facing this way, yet it's a whole face looking at you, a circle, another shape. We talked about the triangle. And so um, making something similar out of materials like paper towel, toilet paper holders, is really, really fun. So you're going to need a scissor. You're going to need a lot of glue and a lot of cardboard, which is something we have a lot of these days. Um, when you go be very careful cutting cardboard because cardboard is hard to cut and I don't have the best scissors here, but I kind of figured they're sort of probably the scissors you have at home. So you might need some help when you go ahead and cut. One thing is this um, little piece that I made earlier, you can see the lines. This is called corrugated cardboard. Uh, it's when really you peel back the cardboard. You can see these like different layers. Um, cardboard is recycled paper, but sometimes they actually make it and they take different layers to create this very thick car corrugated cardboard. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple different things that you can do. I've got a plain piece of cardboard here. It's not perfect. You can even try to peel back some of the layers that I was talking about to create that corrugated. Maybe you want to use it maybe for some of the hair. I like the way that it comes up. There are famous artists that use cardboard for their art as well. And you could be one of those. Just so you know, Pablo Picasso sold his art for hundreds of millions of dollars. So, I cut out a nose. Pretty big nose, too. Pablo might put the nose in the middle. He might put it really far down. He might turn it sideways, whatever he was feeling. I also cut out different shapes. So, this could be an eye. This could be an eye. But it doesn't really have that... Picasso kind of look to it. So I think what I might do is I might take one of my other shapes. I got that shape, I bet you know how, by cutting parts of a toilet paper roll. 
to create, they could be glasses too. That would be fun. Um, you could also have, instead of a, um, another eye, it could be a teardrop. And then if you wanted to do mouths, you could have like whatever material is you cut out. I'm going to push the nose up to the side a little. Maybe I'm like a nose or a mouth like that. That's like, whoo, that's a good mouth. Or maybe, let's see, I cut these up earlier. That looks like a cloud. And I love the corrugated. So you could have a face going to the side, whatever you want. Once you come up with all your different ideas, you're going to want to use a lot of glue to glue down your piece. Um, these are all pieces of uh, paper towel holders that I just cut, 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 cut. And it's giving a very, I love this very natural hair. And one of the other things is that once you're done with all this, I am hoping to see you back in the studio because I think it would be very, very fun if we could either take the pieces and paint them, if you have paints, or crayons, or markers, or even if you have some sort of chalk, or oil pastel, or maybe all of the above. I mean, it doesn't just have to be one kind of art. Um, and we could uh, work together. You could create, you know, a cheek over here, you know, something there. And very similar to this, this paper that I found of uh, other artists where each individual piece is colored differently. That would be a very cool end of this project. So for today, I want you to uh, enjoy. Go find a box somewhere. Go cut it up. Uh add layers. I think the layers are great, making it very three-dimensional. And um, enjoy, and I will see you back in the studio. Bye!